Afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you very much for joining. Um, I want to be upfront before the, the series start and officially announce my retirement from international cricket after this series. I want to stress it as a, as I want to, I want to stress it as a family matter. It's a family decision, and I've put a lot of hard a lot of thought into it, and it's the right time for me to start a new chapter. For clarity's sake, I've got a young family. I've got a foreign wife. I still feel great mentally and physically, and yes, I will be playing in other leagues around the world. Out of respect for CSA, I have not, uh, I have not put pen to, to paper for any deal. My focus is 100% on winning this series, so, we'll, <clears throat> so I'll make a decision after this, all of everything is done. Thank you very much. Can you, can you point out some of the, the memorable ones? Obviously, I, I mean, you know, cricket is what I love, and I've done it, you know, all my life. So it is a very tough decision making this call. And playing for the Proteus is, you know, something very special. But like I said to you in my statement, you know, family comes first. And yeah, my wife was away. Family was away for 10 weeks now, um, you know, for work commitments as well, which was very, very, very tricky part for me. And, you know, through that and sitting them down and discussing it with family, um, you know, we decided this, or for me, I decided this a bit, bit better for me now to start a chapter now with them and focus more on family. Yeah, the th I think of one now at the moment uh, is quite tricky. There are so many. Um, you know, obviously when I made my debut year in 2006 against India, was uh, was very special. Um, you know, becoming the number one test team in the world. Um, you know, beating Australia in Australia, England in England. So um, yeah, there's so many at the moment that's running through my mind. Definitely, um, you know. But I think, honestly, think that the crop of bowlers that that we've got in the squad at the moment, you know, give them a give them a couple of months under Otis and in this environment, you know, they'll be more than capable of, of, of handling the load and going and, and and you know winning that trophy for us. So um, yes, it was a tough it's a tough decision, but at the end of the day, you know, it is important to also look there. Pardon? What do you think will miss the most about being in that coach's resume? Well, obviously the close family, you know, the, the sort of the culture that we've created over the past couple of years is, is something special. And um, you know, that's one thing I'm definitely going to miss. Um, you know, walking out with the guys in the field, um, yeah, the resilience we've shown, you know, as a team over the years, that's something that um, is very close to my heart. But yeah, like I said, you know, the main focus is, for me is now to go out on an Oakland high in this test series and leave it out, all out there on the field. And I will prepare as hard as I can, as best as I can, and hopefully, you know, get on top. Can you chat to us about where you leave this team at the moment and where they are? Yeah, I think you know, in a in a very very happy place. And unfortunately, things didn't go our way in the white ball format. Um, you know, against India. But like I said, you know, give give guys time, give them overs, give them, you know, um, just the opportunity to grow. And you know, I, I'm very positive and confident with the culture that we form and with the senior guys currently in the squad that these guys will grow. So I, I leave with a very happy heart. Um, you know, I'm always going to be also a phone call away for the younger guys. They want to have a chat. You know, and you know, so I will always will have an open line to them and to the team. And you know, um, would like to to grow with them in this journey. Although I'm not going to be in the change room. Yeah, at the moment there, there aren't any plans. Like I said, you know, um, you know, uh, I'm going to look to to play, you know, uh, some cricket. Um, I still feel I can can offer it in some sort of forms, but you know, that decision will take place only after the series, and um, we'll make a decision on that. Yeah. Uh, good morning, both Chris Rogers and David Warner during the week singled you out as someone who came from a half time last time they came up. Does that give you a bit of encouragement to give Australia a half time again? I've always enjoyed the, the battle against Davy. You know, he's a quality player. Um, you know, he comes hard at the ball, and that brings the sort of the best out of me because I know I need to be be on the money from ball one. Um, yeah, so we we close friends, and um, yeah, I'm a little excited. I'm very excited to 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 the end of a sort of exciting series here in my backyard and against a quality team.
I haven't done that, you know. So we've, like I said earlier, we've um, we've been in Australia, in Australia, but I haven't been part of a team, you know, to to get one over them in, in our backyard. So um, you know, that will be the main focus for that. But for me, you know, the main important thing is it's not about my retirement, it's about winning the series. And you know, that's also one of the reasons I wanted to get it out of the way as soon as possible. It's now cricket time, it's now work time, and um, yeah, let's focus on that.